so just did a quick drive around the block just to let the suspension settle. Um, measure both sides, so the fronts are at 14 exactly. Um, again, measuring from the bottom of the fender to uh, the center cap. Um, I want to run this at around 13 and a half, so I'm going to lower it uh, about half an inch. So the thread pitch on the Olin's body is uh, one and a half millimeters. So if I need half an inch, which is about 12 and a half to 13 millimeters, I'm going to have to turn it about eight times. Um, so that should, again, lower the car and unload some of the spring preload. The rears are running at, I want to say 12 and three quarters. So I'm going to raise the rear by a quarter, a quarter of an inch. So I'm going to turn those about uh, four, four turns, but upward. So the rear is going to come up and the front is going to come down a little bit. So once it's all said and done, the front should be at 13 and a half. The rear should be at 13. So that will give me a negative rake because the front will be higher. This is kind of where the suspension is happiest so that you're not working against it. All right. So back in the garage, car is jacked up. We're back with the Oleans in the front. I see my mark here. I'm not sure where the other one is. I think the other one's right there. So I tighten it up. So I'm just going to go eight revolutions down. So Olin's come with these uh, these two wrenches here. Uh, one of them has an L on it. I'm not sure if that's lower. I would assume it's larger because this one fits around the larger ring better. And this one, so you can see they're a different shape. This one fits around the, the smaller diameter ring. So the, the bottom ring here, the locking ring, better. So first I need to uh, loosen these up. So. I'm going to have to hold the top one in place while I loosen up the bottom one. Okay. And I'm just going to count eight rotations. See this one, this one we can turn by hand so there's no preload. Like I said, this is a locking ring. Um, the top one will be a lot tougher to turn because it has all the force of the spring on there. Eight. Okay, so that one was easy. Now I'm gonna have to use the wrench on this one. Probably gonna take me five minutes to undo it just because I have to go tiny, tiny turns at a time. But nonetheless, let's do this. And eight. All right, so now I'm going to tighten them. So now to tighten it, I'm just going to hold this one in place with a mark facing me. And then tighten the bottom collar. All right. This side's done. I'm going to go do the other side.